Hi everybody, it is December 29, 2017. I just got an email from a subscriber slash friend up in Maine who said that it is 25 below zero in Maine. 25 below. It has been for the past two days. And she also wrote, as California burns, we freeze. People urge to help vulnerable neighbors during deep freeze. Unfortunately, I guess people do need to be urged to help one another these days, and that is very, very sad. Very sad. But you guys up north, the temperatures are so unbelievably cold that I do hope that you are knocking on your neighbor's doors, especially the elderly, those vulnerable, those neighbors that you know might have medical issues, that you are knocking on their doors to find out how they are doing. Animal owners urge to bring their pets indoors, if possible, or at least make sure they have sufficient warmth. It scares me that adults need to have that kind of information. Dog found frozen solid on a porch in Ohio. What is wrong with adults? What is wrong? Something is so severely lacking in an adult that can keep animals outside with these frigid temperatures. But clearly something was wrong with this human being. Their, one of their dogs was found curled up frozen to death on the porch. The other one was taken, rescued, because it was emaciated. It scares me. It really does scare me how profoundly sick is the human race. We have now these climate change hysterics, the liars, coming up with explanations why it is so cold, record breaking winter cold. Don't worry, the climate explainers have it covered. This published yesterday, it's an excerpt from an article in USA Today, published December 28. This week's cold snap has brought record low temperatures, freezing rain, and heavy snow to much of the United States, but 2017 is still on track to be the second or third hottest year ever recorded globally, and scientists say climate change is to blame. I, God, I feel so sick to my stomach with all of these lies. And I don't know why today I am so particularly sensitive to all of these lies, but I am. I almost feel like bursting into tears because they're endless. They're endless. They're endless. And the people who lie are so sick and twisted. But the people who continually believe their lies accept the lies when it is so obvious that something is so wrong and they don't do a thing, a thing to find out for themselves whether these people who are quoted in mainstream media on various topics, but climate change, they never do a thing to find out if what they are hearing from mainstream media is the truth. Because most people don't care about the truth. And I have to say, I'm reading more and more comments from subscribers 
who are also unbelievably upset with noticing how many people literally do not care about anything except for their own little life. Even this week's cold weather, listen to this statement, even this week's cold weather is probably being caused at least in part by global warming, says this climate scientist at the University of Michigan. Now that's a definitive statement, isn't it? Even this week's cold weather is probably caused at least in part by global warming. And he has the audacity to actually say global warming when global warming has ceased since, what, 1998? The Arctic is warming much faster than most of the planet, leading to a dramatic decline in the amount of sea ice that covers the region each winter. That loss of ice has allowed more heat to transfer from the ocean to the atmosphere, causing a weakening of the polar vortex winds over the Arctic. Those winds usually insulate the rest of the northern hemisphere from freezing Arctic temperatures. But as the winds have weakened, it, it's gotten easier for freezing Arctic air to swoop further south. This is what they're saying. This is due to the warming of the Arctic which in turn is due to human emissions of greenhouse gases and primarily burning of fossil fuels. And Arctic warming may also be contributing to the long-term drying of the U.S. Southwest, although the science on the front is less certain. Unlike most of the rest of North America, the Southwest is warmer than usual right now in 2017 will, without a doubt, go down as one of the region's hottest years ever measured. Wow, wait a second. I thought it was the second or third. Wasn't it the second or third hottest year? Okay, well, you get down to this paragraph, and it will, without a doubt, go down as one of the region's hottest years ever measured. And that is contributing to the record wildfires in California and the drying out of vegetation that's leading to those wildfires and the drying out of the southwest water. But they go on. They go on. So what happens if global temperature is taking a real plunge for a sustained period? Don't worry the, the explainers. You notice how they don't say the scientists because they're not scientists. They are sick psychopathic liars pushing an agenda a political agenda, an agenda to take control over countries and individuals in those countries over under the umbrella of climate change, which is a complete lie. It's a lie, and we've been here for years screaming about that lie, and yet we have so many people who don't give a flying hoot to do any research to find out. No, nope, because just accepting lies is so much easier. It's so much easier. It requires no energy, no thought, no responsibility at all. Just give me the lie so I can turn on my tube at night and be entertained by the sick twisted programming that is on TV. Yes, the explainers like James Hansen, a former NASA director, um, Goddard Science, whatever, published a paper which suggests global warming will trigger a short ice age in the near future. So you just believe James Hansen, right? Just believe him. Believe him. So Trump tweets. He tweets this. Uh, 
In the East, it could be the coldest New Year's Eve on record. Perhaps we could use a little bit of the good old global warming that our country, but not other countries, was going to pay trillions of dollars to protect against. Bundle up. All right. I don't want to get into Trump, and I don't want to get into the Paris Court agreements. I don't know what is going on. Deception just continues and continues. The lies we are fed um, continue. And the game that these elitist, globalist, psychopathic, crazy people play to divide and conquer by division populations in our countries not just the United States. It works so beautifully. You get one leader to come in, take office. And they, they're forcing climate change, global warming right down your throat, claiming that there's a 97% consensus of scientists that say, Human beings are causing global warming. So we got to get on board the Paris Agreement. That was Obama. Then Trump comes in. He says the opposite. Oh my God, we are in such mess. Such mess. And unfortunately, you then have Trump making these statements and what does mainstream media and Verge, The Verge and Vox and they come out and oh my god Trump he is a climate change denier and they focus on that and they get ordinary people whipped up into a frenzy oh my god Trump is so stupid and he doesn't believe in climate change and those people who say things like that are really the true idiots because they've not done any research. Well, what happens when you get all of these government officials and these quote unquote leaders who come out and do this kind of crazy stuff? And I'm not saying I don't know what Trump thinks, but I know what the response is. You get people to either just throw up their arms and they just don't give a crap about anything, just let me live my life, all right? Who the hell knows what's going on? Or those people who don't throw up their arms, they take a side. They don't do any research to actually find out the truth for themselves. They just take a side and go with it. And it really is absolutely critical that people <laughs> do their own research to find out what is happening. You know, you look at IntelliCast, right? You see the geoengineering taking place. You see the grid pattern of the aerosol spraying the geoengineering of our planet. And you see that all of the spraying, well, it is preventing the sun from shining down to give you some warmth in these areas. Maine, right here, negative 25 for two days and the dog found frozen on the porch Ohio right and what do you see you see all of the aerosol spraying and the frequencies being used but all of these states that are now experiencing well Pennsylvania um, experienced what five feet of snow they're supposed to get another eight inches record temperatures in Chicago Illinois Michigan Minnesota Ohio and you can see it right here that 
something unnatural is taking place. You can see it right off the coast of New England. Something unnatural is taking place because Mother Nature does not work in defined lines, grid patterns, and you can certainly see it for days on end. From Christmas on, all of the geoengineering. It's clear in your face, the grid patterns right here. I know that a lot of people have kind of given up the awake crowd, not caring anymore what happens. But as this continues, more and more people suffer the consequences. That's the December 25th. This is not Mother Nature. December 26th. Keeping it Keeping the sun away from hitting Earth. Obvious microwave frequencies at work. Obvious grid patterns. Obvious, obvious, obvious. This is December 29. So, yeah. NASA global warming stance blasted by 49 astronaut scientists who once worked at the agency. I have posted videos on these NASA scientists, astronauts. We believe the claims by NASA and GIS, the Goddard Institute for Space Studies, that man-made carbon dioxide is having a catastrophic impact on, climate, on global climate change are not substantiated, especially when considering thousands of years of empirical data. data. Australia's prime minister came out and said, Hoax. Hoax. Tony Abbott. Most climate models were wrong, and there was little evidence of climate change, said Maurice Newman. Oh, he was the top business advisor. Sorry, but the uh, Tony Abbott also came out and said that. But he said the UN had used climate change as a hook to establish and control a new world order. And then you get all of these people that would just see here, New World Order, oh my God, oh my God, you're a conspiracy theorist, oh my God, run away from her, she's crazy, she's crazy. Like friggin' little kids. And it's happening. Whether Trump is in office or not. But here, you know, Quotes from global warming critics, dissenters, non-believers, skeptics. Yeah, we did have 31,000. Well, actually, that was the start of this petition of American scientists and researchers to sign a petition stating that the global warming hysteria was just that, hysteria. But the last I checked, there were, I think, about 44,000 had signed on. Countless international scientists dispute the global warming, climate change. I'm going to read some of these comments, and I will tell you these quotes 
are many on this one page. And then people would maybe think, oh my god, you got this from the internet. All of this is just lies. So they wouldn't do any research to find out if this United Nations scientist or retired environment Canadian scientists actually said the IPCC, climate change documents, do not provide an objective assessment of the Earth's temperature trends and associated climate change. He was invited to be an expert reviewer for the 2007 IPCC documents, the International Panel on Climate Change. The United Nations International Panel on Climate Change that he had pointed out the flawed review process used by the IPC scientists and stated that increasing number of scientists are now questioning the hypothesis of greenhouse gas induced warming. They would simply say, well, you got it on the internet. Or they would say, well, how come they're not being interviewed? And they'd never do the research to find out how our mainstream medias in our respective countries are controlled. Delgado Dominguez, environmental scientist, creating an ideology pegged to carbon dioxide is a dangerous, is a dangerous nonsense. The present alarm on climate change is an instrument of social control. Will Harper, Princeton University physicist, former director of energy research at the Department of Energy. I had the privilege of being fired by Al Gore since I refused to go along with his alarm alarmism. Will Harper, long research career studying physicist, uh, physics that is closely related to the greenhouse effect. The fears about man-made global warming are unwarranted and are not based on good science. There is no evidence that the changes differ in any qualitative way from those of the past. Nobel Prize winner for physics, Ivar Javier, I'm, I'm not even going to read the names of these, who you can, it's all in purple. I am a skeptic. Global warming has become a new religion. Another Nobel Prize winner for chemistry, Gary Mullis. Global warmers predict that global warming is coming and our emissions are to blame. They do that to keep us worried about our role in the whole thing. If we aren't worried and guilty, we might not pay their salaries. It's that simple. Martin uh, Geely, uh, geology scientists. Global warming is indeed a scam perpetrated by scientists with vested interests but in need of crash courses in geology, logic, and the um, philosophy of science. Paleontologist Committee for Scientific Research Argentina. The global warming scaremongering has its justifications in the fact that it is something that generates funds. I don't know, maybe people just think that we couldn't have this many sick people, twisted people, evil people, mouthing all of these lies just for money. <laughs> well, these are very naive people. climatologists, research scientists. The only thing to worry about is the damage that can be done by worrying. Why are some scientists worried? Perhaps because they feel that to stop worrying may mean to stop being paid. James Spann, American Meteorological Society, a certified meteor meteorologist. Billions of dollars of grant money, over 50 billion are flowing into the pockets of those on the man-made global warming bandwagon. This is big money, make no mistake about it. 
Always follow the money trail that tells the story. Another meteorologist, a former tornado forecaster in severe weather service, governmental officials are currently casting trillions down huge rat hole to solve a problem which doesn't exist. Packs of rats wait in that rat hole to reap trillions coming down to fill advocates' pockets. Some politicians are standing in line to fill their pockets with kickback money for large grants to the environmental experts. In case you haven't noticed, it is an expanding profit-making industry growing in proportion to the horror warnings by government officials and former vice presidents like Al Gore, Claude Colros, Colros, organic chemistry, dire predictions of catastrophe from that bottomless pit of disasters du jour, du jour. the inter Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, are based solely on computer models that amount to poorly crafted mathematical opinions, not experimental proof. There is no proof that man-made carbon dioxide causes additional warming or that carbon dioxide reduction would reduce warming. A geologist specializing in hydrogeology and groundwater resources in the Himalayas. There is a hype of global warming created by Western mass media and there is a need to redefine the whole concept. Peter Daly, Director of Atmospheric Science, Air Worldwide. For the layman, there is sometimes a tendency to regard every new discovery or scientific finding from the latest published paper as an inviolate fact. In reality, rarely is there ever a last and final word in studies of complex systems such as Earth's environment. Mark Paquette, meteorologist, AccuWeather. The Earth's climate is ridiculously complicated and carbon dioxide is not the only thing that influences the climate that is changing. Ian McQueen, chemical engineer, carbon dioxide is not the boogeyman. The carbon dioxide content of the atmosphere, he said, is currently at 380 parts per million if that were up to 560 parts per million, Earth's temperature would only rise about 0.3 degrees. I don't know what years these quotes were taken from, but it doesn't matter. They reveal something very flawed in the scientists that are actually speaking flawed science. Former chief research scientist at Australia's Commonwealth Scientific and Industrial Research Organization, the suppression of scientific evidence that contradicts the causal link between human-generated CO2 and climate has been of great concern to ethical scientists both here in Australia and around the world. But if you speak in opposition to the mainstream narrative, opposition to the United Nations Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change scientists, then they attack, they attack you. They attack any person who attempts to publish science that contradicts their beliefs. Dennis Hollers, astrophysicist, what I do with the IPCC report is to put it in the trash can because that's all it's worth. Larry Bell, University of Houston, International Space Station, cause and effect relationships between atmospheric carbon dioxide concentrations from all sources and global temperatures are inconclusive. John Williams, a agricultural scientist, researcher, author, educator, University of Melbourne. There is no proof that carbon dioxide is causing or precedes global warming. All indications are that the minor warming cycle finished in 2001 
and that Arctic ice melting is related to cyclical orbit tilt axis changes in Earth's angle to the sun. Roger Cohen, phys um, physicist, American Physical Society. I retired four years ago, and at the time of my retire retirement, I was well convinced, as were most technically trained people, that the IPCC's case for anthrop anthropogenic global warming is very tight. However, upon taking the time to get into the details of science, of the science, I was appalled at how flimsy the case really is. I was also appalled at the behavior of many of those who helped produce the IPCC reports and by many of those who promote it. In particular, I am referring to the arrogance, the activities aimed at shutting down debate, the outright fabrications, the mindless defense of bogus science, and the politi politicization of the IPCC process and the science process itself. Carbon dioxide is not a pollutant, and in fact, is a desired is desired to date. Global warming alarmists have not come close to providing any valid scientific data that proves humans are the sole source of changes in so-called global average temperatures. Do I stop because my video is getting long? Do I go on a hunger strike? Do I just keep going? Nobody will do the research on geoengineering or weather modification to understand that these weather events are, are being induced by man, induced by technology that we now have. Do I just walk away and not care? Robert Perkins, Professor of Civil and Environmental Engineering, registered civil engineer, 30 years work in Arctic and subarctic. All the science that you read about global warming is based on models, not observed facts. Another physicist, recipient of the Needle of Honor of German aeronautics as the glaciological and tree ring evidence shows climate change is a natural phenomenon that has occurred many times in the past both with the magnitude as well as with the time rate of the temperature change that have occurred in the recent decades David Stockwell ecological modeler published research articles on climate change, it would be recognized that the IPCC is just another review and an unstructured and biased one at that. Chemical engineer, 16 U.S. patents, written 55 technical papers, Bob Ashworth, authored a 200, uh, 2008 technical analysis of global warming, the lesson to the world here is, when it comes to science, never blindly accept an explanation from a politician or a scientist who have turned political for their own private gain. Taxing carbon will have absolutely no beneficial effect on our climate, will hurt the economies of the world, and will be harmful to the production of food because less carbon dioxide means reduced plant growth. David Dahl Chief Meteorologist of Minnesota's ABC Channel 5, many peer-reviewed scientific papers are now looking at the real possibility that the sun may play the main role in climate variation here on Earth. Recent studies show that the unusually quiet sun may be one of the reasons for the unusually cold winter that was experienced across much of the northern hemisphere. But listen to James Hansen. It's climate change causing the cold. 
It's the Arctic ice dumping into the ocean that's causing Arctic air to flow more southward. Mike Thompson, chief meteorologist, Kansas City News Station, and a former U.S. Navy meteorologist. It is easier to si uh, silence scientific dissent by utilizing the politics of personal destruction than to actually debate them on the merits of their arguments. That should tell you something about the global warming debate. There is none right now. It's either you believe or you are to be discredited. Patrick Frank, chemist, author of more than 50 peer-reviewed articles. So the bottom line is this. When it comes to future climate, no one knows what they're talking about. No one. Not the IPCC, nor its scientists, nor the U.S. National Academy of Sciences, nor the NRDC, or National Geographic, not the U.S. Congress, Congressional House leadership, not me, not you, and certainly not Albert Gore. Chief Meteorologist of Broadcast Station in Massachusetts. Did you know that if the greenhouse effect didn't exist, life on this planet would be frozen? Further, I'm sure you remember from grade school science, science that carbon dioxide is vital for life. Plants need it and in turn give us oxygen. No CO2 means no plants which means little oxygen for us. Certainly not enough to live on. Why then is CO2 called pollution? Glenn Speck, chemist. 35 years testing air, water, fuel, and soil for chemicals, including CO2. The public has been repeatedly misled that there is a scientific consensus on global warming. Totally false. Unfortunately, man-made climate change or anthropogenic global warming, as it's more commonly known, has become a political issue rather than a scientific one. William Hunt, research scientist, National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, served as a wildlife biologist and a geologist, scientist, and activist alike have jumped on the global warming bandwagon. It's become a fad, a trend, a wave of enthusiasm. And the scientists are going along with the fad to get research grants and media limelight. And that's what happens when you have people of low consciousness. They are ego-driven. They're all about themselves and not the truth. Another meteorologist former lead forecaster at the Weather Channel and AccuWeather. Promoters of climate fear want to make money. Billions of dollars are being funneled into research. I feel man's influence on climate is a micro-influence. Nature has a tendency to balance itself on a macro scale. Quit spinning research to foster monetary and political agendas. That's dishonest science. And you can pause the video and read more. Frederick Siatz, past president, U.S. National Academy of Sciences. It is one thing to impose drastic measures and harsh economic penalties when an environmental problem is clear-cut and severe. It is foolish to do so when the problem is largely hypothetical and not substantiated by observations. We do not currently have convincing evidence of significant climate change from other than natural causes. The new green left environmentalist propaganda reminds me of the old red left communist propaganda. The dirty word now is carbon rather than capitalism. The game is simply to intrude and control everything
former IPCC scientist, I personally cannot in good faith continue to contribute to the process, the IPCC process, that I view as both being motivated by preconceived agendas and being scientifically unsound. Climatologist, former NOAA researcher, the same individuals who are doing primary research in the role of humans on the climate system are then permitted to lead the IPCC assessment. There should be an outcry on this obvious conflict of interest. Scientific rigor has been sacrificed and poor policy and political decisions will inevitably follow. The climate change debate is basically not about science, it is about ideology. It's not about global temperature, it's about the concept of human society, which goes against freedom and free markets. Vakov Klaus, president of the Czech Republic. Jack Schmidt, geology scientist and U.S. astronaut, you know as well as I, the global warming scare is being used as a political tool to increase government control over American lives, incomes, and decision making. Peter Friedman, professor, mechanical engineering, University of Massachusetts, member of the American Geophysical Union, the IPCC, policy summaries written by a small group of their political operatives frequently contradict the work of the scientists that prepare the scientific assessments. Scientists aren't even writing what the public are reading. Joanne Simpson, former elite NASA climate scientist, since I am no longer affiliated with any organization nor receiving any funding, I can speak quite frankly as a scientist, I remain skeptical. John Theon, retired chief of the Climate Process Research Program at NASA. Climate models are useless. Models do not realistically simulate the climate system. Member of the IPCC Process, award-winning environmental physical chemist, Warming fears are the worst scientific scandal in the history. When people come to know what the truth is, they will feel deceived by science and scientists. Stanley Goldenberg, U.S. government atmospheric and hurricane sci scientist. It is a blatant lie put forth in the media that makes it seem there is only a fringe of scientists who don't buy into anthropogenic global warming meteorologist and former IPCC member Gore, Al Gore, prompted me to start delving into the science again and I quickly found myself solidly in the skeptic camp. Mark Campbell, professor of chemistry at the US Naval Academy. There is no convincing, convincing evidence that carbon dioxide produced by humans has any influence on the Earth's climate. Peter Stills, physical chemist, chairs climate seminar Department of Physical Chemistry, Royal Institute of Technology in Stockholm. There is no strong evidence to prove significant human influence on climate. On a global basis, William Hunt, it is currently impossible for us to accurately model Earth's climate. We are not aware of all of the variables yet. Research Scientist, National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. James Cripwell, physicist, former scientist with UK's Cavendish Laboratory. I am reminded of a quite well-known commercial in North America from Wendy's, Where's the Beef? when it comes to the UN IPCC claim that the increased level of CO2 in the atmosphere is the cause of global warming, where's the science? Climate scientist, University of Auckland, 
Climate is not responding to greenhouse gases in the way we thought it might. People are being misled by people making money out of this. Scientist at the Danish National Space Center rises in temperatures is due solely to carbon dioxide have no scientific justification. It's pure guesswork, not science. Geologist. The IPCC has actually become a closed circuit. It doesn't listen to others. It doesn't have open minds. I am rare I am really amazed that the Nobel Peace Prize has been given on scientifically incorrect conclusions by people who are not geologists. Yeah, like Al Gore. And people still regard the Nobel Peace Committee, the Nobel Committee, as something respected, regarded as some committee of what? It's a joke. They're part of the lies. William Briggs, climate statistician, after reading UN IPCC Chairman Pachuri's asinine comment comparing skeptics to flat earthers, it's hard to remain quiet. The skill of climate forecast, global climate models, upon which the vast majority of global warming science is based, are not well investigated. <laughs> William McClenny, professional geologist, former certified environmental auditor, He was on the bandwagon, the global warming bandwagon, until he did the math and realized that you just can't get to global warming with CO2. Walter Cunningham, NASA astronaut physicist. NASA is becoming just another agency caught up in the politics of global warming, or worse, politicized science. Former atmospheric physicist with the U.S. Space Research and Coordination Center. As a dissenting physicist, I simply can no longer buy the notion that CO2 produces any significant warming of the atmosphere at any rate. Well, I will tell you that six years of posting so many videos on this global warming climate change hoax, the evidence, facts, asking people to do the research, you do begin to feel like what is the point? What's the point when we are so surrounded by people who allow these lies to continue? And yes, it is the ordinary people in our respective communities, in our respective countries, who allow this to continue. They're allowing it by just accepting lie after lie after lie. Climatologists, because of all the misinformation that Gore and his army have been spreading about climate change, I have decided that real climatologists should try to help the public understand the nature of the problem. President of the World Federation of Scientists, retired professor of advanced physics, 
significant new peer-reviewed research has cast even more doubt on the hypothesis of dangerous human-caused global warming. A UN IPCC expert reviewer, to date, no convincing evidence for anthropogenic global warming has been discovered. Researchers, a researcher at the Institute of Geophysics at the National Autonomous University of Mexico, the models and forecasts of the UN IPCC are incorrect because they only are based on mathematical models and presented results at scenarios that do not include, for example, solar activity. President Weather Information served on the National Research Council Council's Board on Atmospheric Science and Climate. The peer review process as applied to anthropogenic global warming studies is deeply flawed. It lacks transparency and accountability. Roger Cohen, physicist, American Physical Society fellow. At this point, there is little doubt that the IPCC position is seriously flawed in its central position that humanity is responsible. United Nations IPCC expert reviewer, co-founder of the Department of Energy and Public Policy at Carnegie Mellon University. The public is not well served by this constant drumbeat of false alarms fed by computer models manipulated by advocates. Russian geographer, Antarctic ice core researcher, the coyote, the coyote, coyote theorists have put the cart before the horse. It is global warming that triggers high levels of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere, not the other way around. Dennis Hollerus, astrophysicist, man-made global warming is basically flawed silent science. You put up a two-minute video, you may get a lot of views, but what good does it do? You put up an hour-long video, you get so few views, what good does it do? People like lies. That's why the lies work. They don't like the truth. <laughs> Richard King, climatologist, Department of Atmospheric and Ocean Oceanic Science, University of Colorado. Earth has cooled since 1998 in defiance of the predictions of the United Nations IPCC. The global temperature for 2007 was the coldest in a decade and the coldest of the millennium. But they'll lie. They'll just say it's the hottest on record. That's why they had to start referring to global warming as climate change. A retired principal research scientist with Australia's Commonwealth Scientific and Research Organization I have yet to see credible proof of carbon dioxide driving climate change, yet alone man-made CO2 driving it. When will we collectively awake from this deceptive delusion? Doesn't it make you sick that this is the world that has manifested? And those of you who understand how it has manifested, because there are so few who care about the truth, and so many who are just about their own lives. That's how it manifests.
how do you how do you get an individual to start caring about the truth and stop lying and stop accepting lies <laughs> because there are so many of them they all support one another so they don't care what you say they just have they have so much support Meteorologists, politicians have come to see global warming as a way to raise revenue by rationing CO2 production with, with schemes such as cap-and-trade legislation now in Congress. The taxes assessed for producing CO2 could be huge. But global warming, as proclaimed by Al Gore and company, is a hoax. Frederick Seitz, I'm not sure I'm pronouncing that, U.S. National Academy of Sciences, the IPCC, is pre-programmed to produce reports to support the hypothesis of anthropogenic warming. <laughs> the 1990 IPCC summary completely ignored satellite data since they showed no warning. The 1995 IPCC report was notorious for the significant alterations made to the text after it was approved by the scientists in order to convey the impression of a human influence. The 2001 IPCC report claimed the 20th century showed unusual warming based on the now discredited hockey stick graph. The latest IPC report published in 2007 completely devaluates the climate contributions from changes in solar activities. Yeah. <laughs> it is profoundly upsetting to live life knowing that so many people are experiencing the consequences of these liars. You see more and more affected on a daily basis. <laughs> and the liars just continue spouting their lies. Climate data analysts, the IPCC leads us to believe that their reports are some more supported by the majority of reviewers. <laughs> Among the 23 independent reviewers of the IPCC report, only four endorsed a particular chapter that greenhouse gas was causing global warming. Well, 58 minutes. So, help those who are vulnerable. That's all we can do now. We can't stop this madness. Too many have been, well, well adjusted to a profoundly immoral, sick, twisted system. Now the best thing that we can do is really help those in need, help those who are vulnerable, help those who are suffering the consequences. Support one another. Stop. Stop the fighting. Stop 
the lying stop. Just stop being well adjusted to this sick, twisted system. And really get out there and help one another. That's the only way people are going to survive.